was the son of a pizza man. Well, as we all know, February 9th is National Pizza Day. Yes. A day to be celebrated from sea to shining sea. And the way we're going to do that is uh, we're getting together with a, a Slice, the online pizza ordering company, and the Jersey Pizza Boys, the Michael and Nikki Testa, the mm -hmm. pizza dough acrobats. Yeah. Uh, and and we're, we're, we're gathering all these pizzerias across the country, 250 pizzerias. And we're lining them each up with a local hunger relief center, so a, a food pantry or a or a shelter or a community center, any place that feeds people who need food. And on that day, February 9th, Friday, February 9th, we're delivering pizza to all these places the same day across the country. Pizza, literally across America. That's awesome. Um, so, uh, are you still looking for pizza places? In the, I know you were looking. You had like a handful of states that you didn't have pizza places. Are there still states you're looking for? Yeah, we are, and I don't have the list right in front of me, but I'm pretty sure we're missing Arkansas, Montana, North Dakota, places like that. Okay. If you're in one of those cities, sign up. How is your pizza box collection? It is great. It's sitting right behind me and also right next to me. Is it what do you know what number you're at right now? It's around 1375 or 1376. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Do you have to so with so with that with like the whole Guinness thing, do you have to um, like check in with them like or is it just kind of like a... They're not, you know, uh, an official organization of any sort, you know, it's Guinness. Right. So they're just uh, I think if somebody else called them up and said, Hey, I've got I beat the world record of pizza boxes, you gotta put me in them. Hopefully they would call me up and say, Hey, somebody else has nine hundred. Right. That's your six hundred from twenty thirteen. And I would say, Okay, well I have thirteen hundred and seventy two now, so right. I don't I don't know what would happen because they, they have to count them themselves. Right. Or I have to do it and videotape it, and right. I, I gotta say I'm, I'm probably not gonna do that. It's a huge pain. <laughs> I just recently watched your documentary uh, on on Hulu, and uh, if you haven't seen it, if you're watching this and you haven't seen this documentary, it is really good. Uh, it's Scott's Pizza Tours documentary, basically, right? Yeah, um, they called it Scott's Pizza Tour. <laughs> documentary. Yeah, um, I was like, hey, like, what about uh, calling it a different name? And they were like, nah, we'll call it Scott's Pizza yeah, Tours. It, it's, okay. it's, it's very direct. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like, you know, it's the, the tours, or you know, there's like a bunch of us who do the tours. Right. And in the movie, you see one tour guide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, it's really cool. It's it's It was cool to see, like, you know, like your, your family members and like, you know, just your story. I mean, I've heard your story, you know, plenty of times, but it, it's cool to like, you know, kind of see an official documentary about it. So. Yeah, those guys did an unbelievable job. Mm -hmm. They yeah. just they basically would just email me every once in a while and say, "Hey, what are you doing this week?" And I'd say, "Oh, I'm gonna do this and this," and they would show up. Right. Yeah, because that that took a while to film, right? I think they were. It was about ten months, start to yeah. finish, for filming. Right. Right. I mean, that's a, and decent, then, that's a decent amount of time, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because, you know, there might be a month where I don't hear from them or, right. you know, you can kind of see, like, uh, throughout the movie as my facial hair changes, yeah. you can tell <laughs> the fact. You know, it's a... Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah. My niece is calling me on FaceTime. <laughs> and I got to Hey, Chloe! Are you... Wait, look, look, look at this. Look at this. Oh, nice! Pizza. Are you making pizza right now? Yeah. <laughs> She's making pizza right now. Oh, that's awesome. I am so impressed. Usually, well, when, usually when I make pizza with her, she puts more cheese in her mouth than she does on the pizza. Wait, wait, need a little bit more this time. Look at this. That's awesome. Hi, so, Chloe. Because I'm talking to my friend Enzo here on Skype. He's a pizza guy, and then Chloe is a pizza gal, and we have all this stuff going on at the same moment. So much pizza. Well, we don't want to pass that Is it enough of what's got here? Let's, let's let him see. Let's see it. Oh! 
That looks like the. I'm not even kidding. That's the perfect amount. <laughs> yes. Did you stretch that dough, Chloe? That, that was a mommy dough. Okay, okay. Still looks great. Everything else. Wait a second. I have a question. Yep. Is that on a pizza stone right now? It is. All Don't right. judge. Uh, uh. Next time, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you a peel. That would be greatly yeah. appreciated. Because that pizza stone right now will be ineffective. I know. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna get you a peel. That's okay. We, it's okay. It's all gonna work. It's still better than like the average slice of pizza. I agree, but wait, I have a recommendation, Alicia. Before you put it in, okay. Just drizzle some sauce on top of the cheese. Okay. Because what's gonna happen now is the cheese is gonna melt before the crust finishes. So okay. the, the sauce is gonna protect the cheese, so it'll buy you a little bit more time. Uh, you can put it over all of it. I mean, it doesn't have to be like a whole layer, but just so that there's some moisture on top. Got it. But that's uh, seriously, that amount of cheese is perfect. That is fully Chloe executed, not even kidding. I am. Okay. How about this? Let's check in when the pizza comes out of the oven. Okay. I'm going to chat with Enzo over here, but there's the pizza. Sounds good. We'll call you back. Sounds good. That looks good. Talk to you in a bit. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye Chloe. Uh, That's ridiculous. My my niece is three and a half years old, and I teach her how to make pizza, and whew, we made pizza together twice. She's brilliant. That's crazy. She's three brilliant. and a half. Yeah, she's putting on just enough. But watch out! I have to learn how to use a pizza stone. <laughs> um, a little bit embarrassing. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, no. So you're also getting into like bread making. I see. Oh, I've been into bread making for years. Oh, okay. I love bread making. I bake bread every week. Okay. I just made dough this morning. I'm going to bake some bread in two or three days. Nice. Do you have a favorite bread to make? I just make sourdough bowls. That's all I make. Okay. Round loaves, sourdough. Okay. Picking it. Right. I made a batard the other day. I was just eating it. You know, I like, it's good. Bread, you get, to get in a... If you like pizza and you want to be a better pizza maker, you just got to be a bread maker. Right. I'm just afraid if I got into bread making, I would be like twice the size that I am right now. Well, see, I'm into bread baking, but I'm also into gift giving. Ah. You bake a couple of loaves. Smart. You give it them out. Yeah. Cut each loaf in half. You have a half for yourself and then, yeah. you know, it lasts. Day. And it's not bad for you. I mean, it's not... A slow risen, naturally fermented dough. Mm. Right, right. It's true. It's a lot easier to gift bread than pizza, also. That's why I make a lot more bread than pizza. Because yeah. if I make seven pizzas, I'm like, what now? Right. I can only eat four of them. Right. I make a bunch <laughs> of bread. It's like, that house smells amazing. I could keep it around for a few days, yeah. give it out to my neighbors. Yeah. Make friends. Yeah, all the I visit, they all get fresh bread. Right. What's, what's in your foreseeable future? Pizza across America, mm -hmm. of course. Um, we've got some new pizza tour guides. Going to kick it out pizza style here in New York. Right. Uh, and that's pretty much it for right now. Got some other projects that are bubbling, but nothing that's officially announceable. Right. But, you know, it's all just like little bits and bops. Okay. And you're doing the, the Pizza Expo, obviously. Pizza Expo in March. I'll be doing a Detroit style panel. Um, I'll be doing a Young Pizza Entrepreneur of the Year award ceremony. And then we're gonna do a tour in Vegas. Okay. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I was... Also, I got a coming up in April. I'm gonna be in Syracuse, New York. And I'm gonna do a pizza tour and maybe a Slice Out Hunger event and some lectures, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, March 5th. At the 92nd Street Y in New York City, I'm doing the Women of Pizza, uh, a lecture about the women in pizza, the history of women in pizza. Oh, okay. For Women's History Month, March. Okay. That's 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 a very interesting uh, topic. Yeah, because it's people have been asking me more and more lately about like where are the women at? Right, right. I guess yeah. I guess it, you don't really think about that. Um, 
Yeah, you think, you know what? Women have been involved in the pizza industry for hundreds of years, but in ways that not a lot of people know. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man.